for today's talk and uh, I'd like to present some review of uh, uh, scientific publications and scientific work, scientific work done at Inamin uh, over the last year. So uh, I'll start with some general overview, then uh, I shall cover several uh, topics which were presented in this year publications and uh, finish, then finish with some outline. So uh, Inamin uh, has uh, scientific research and scientific uh, public publication of its results as at the heart of company. It is a very important part of uh, Inamin's business model. And uh, typically publications, uh, we publish uh, uh, results from our non-exclusive projects, uh, typically internal projects or some collaborations uh, with academia or industry. Uh, of course, major goal of this activity is to highlight our products and services. That's why typically our publications are related to either to building block synthesis or uh, compound libraries, real space and their applications. It is also a good opportunity for our employees to uh, move, move forward to their PhD in collaboration with Kiev academic institutions. And we have been steadily growing. We reached about uh, 80 papers per year uh, affiliated with Inamin uh, up to uh, 2022. Uh, we have quite a large uh, dedicated uh, scientific department, uh, a part of which, which I like to call scientific support department, uh, it includes five people headed by me. And I will be presenting uh, results mainly from this group. Uh, there are also uh, two other groups that uh, doing, are doing uh, similar activity, doing similar research. So, uh, where uh, in I mean, uh, so the papers were have been published in 2022 and uh, first part of 2023, uh, the landscape of journals it didn't change too much. Uh, we, uh, of, of course, have some uh, general chemistry and general science journals quite high impact. Uh, most of our publications however, were published in uh, specialized journals related to organic chemistry, of course. It is Journal of Organic Chemistry, European Journal of Organic Chemistry. Uh, there are also many publications, uh, and I think that their number has increased uh, recently related to uh, medicinal chemistry, journal medicinal chemistry, chemical chem and so on. Uh, so, uh, the diversity of journals uh, which uh, represent our works is quite quite huge. Uh, I'd like to start with our se several publications uh, related to highlighting uh, events in Ukrainian chemistry because of uh, full-scale Russian aggression. Of course, we couldn't uh, avoid this subject uh, in our publications. Uh, there is a blog post at Inamid site about uh, first weeks of uh, these events, which I where I provide quite personal feelings about these events. Uh, but of course, this these first weeks uh, were on uh, were quite short, and then we uh, understood that we have to remain strong, and uh, our uh, our uh, steps toward this, and uh, how we have been operating in the uh, first several months after the uh, full-scale Russian aggressions are covered is in SAS medicinal chemistry letters. Uh, in fact, uh, we and uh, our and many other in pharmaceutical industry understood how important Inamin is to uh, pharmaceutical uh, society. Uh, and uh, these topics are covered in this first paper in, in SAS medicinal chemistry letters. Later, we uh, published our thoughts about uh, how uh, we can rebuild and support Ukrainian science, uh, especially after the war. And uh, this was highlighted in the proceedings of National Academic, uh, uh, Academy of Science USA, and we highlighted, also highlighted with this very nice picture uh, uh, showcasing uh, resilience and strength of Ukrainian people. But without any uh, pause, let's go to the to chemistry. Uh, most works from our uh, department were related to fluorinated uh, saturated rings this year. 
Uh, and I'd like to start with a review, uh, which was published in uh, Cam at Cam uh, at the mid-2022. Uh, mid, uh, uh, of course, uh, there are some uh, features of flora and covered in this paper that are well known to the medicinal chemistry community. For example, uh, its impact on the physical chemical properties, uh, on metabolic stability and so on, uh, but also uh, synthetic approaches to uh, fluorinated building blocks are covered in this, in this, article, in this article. And it is also uh, highlighted with this uh, nice uh, frontispiece, which was uh, made by uh, me when I was in the region in the first uh, weeks of the uh, aggression and uh, most part of this review was written there. Uh, uh, the first case I would like to present you is related to uh, gem defluorinated cyclal alkyne derivatives. We have a, f a huge number of them uh, at our stock and we have synthesized uh, both carboxylic acid and the mines of these uh, general structures. And we have, uh, have become interested in uh, physical chemical properties of this compound, namely acid basic properties and lipophilicity. Uh, also, some other uh, characteristic characteristics. Uh, we have uh, synthesized small model derivatives for that purpose, uh, and uh, compare them with uh, properties of uh, cyclalkan, uh, non-fluoridated cyclalkan derivatives, as well as acyclic uh, counterparts. And we have found that fluorination has uh, quite predictable uh, impact on the pKa of these compounds. So uh, it can be quite easily explained with a merely inductive effect of the fluorine atoms. So the closer fluorination uh, site is to the corresponding functional, functional group. Uh, at beta position, for example, the stronger is uh, this effect of decreasing uh, acidic, prop uh, increasing acidic properties, sorry, and uh, decreasing basicity of the corresponding amines. Uh, and uh, this effect is uh, has low dependency on the, uh, for example, ring science in, in this system. So uh, uh, roughly the, the pK can be estimated by the corresponding increments uh, of the uh, defluorinated substituent. For the log p, the dependencies were more complex. The dependencies that this were more complex, but in all cases for the cyclic derivatives, we have observed. Uh, increased hydrophilicity for, for all the compounds, so that the p-value was lowered by uh, introduction of two fluorine atoms into the cyclocan ring. This is, in fact, contrary to the case of the uh, non-cyclic derivatives, where slight increase uh, of the p was increased, uh, was uh, observed for uh, the better substituted derivatives. Uh, and this can be explained by uh, conformational restriction of the uh, provided by the ring system. The effect was uh, has strong dependence on the ring size, and for in, in particular for the three moment rings, uh, it was even negative. So uh, the fluorinated cyclopropanes were, were slightly more lipophilic than the non fluorinated counterparts, and the effect was uh, the largest for five to seven membrane rings. Uh, so uh, for the lipophilicity, uh, su uh, such general rules, rules of sum uh, cannot be derived uh, as for acid-basic properties. Nevertheless, we covered all this chemical space and for each compound pair, we have uh, the corresponding values which can be used for more rational uh, optimization when using such building blocks in uh, drug discovery programs. Next, we have switched our attention to uh, heterocyclic saturated amines containing fluorinated substituents, in particular uh, compounds with uh, CH2F, CHF2, and CF3 groups. Again, we have extended the corresponding fluorinated series with non-fluorinated and acyclic counterparts. And what we have, what have, we have found here that for PKA, uh, the tendency is nearly the same as for the previous case. So that uh, adding each fluorine atom has nearly the same increment for uh, the basicity of the compounds, whereas ring size is not uh, very important. Therefore, uh, again, inductive effect for the, for the fluorine atoms uh, can be used to explain on the, all the uh, uh, effects observed, at least with some uh, degree of precision. 
as for the lipophilicity uh, introduction of uh, the fluorinated substituent, in each case, uh, in almost each case at least, uh, have added one, uh, since, it, since at least one atom, uh, carbon atom was added, lipophilicity was slightly, typically slightly increased. Uh, and uh, this effect was largest for the CF3 group, of course, uh, and uh, the addition each of each fluorine atoms uh, increased the lipophilicity of these compounds for this series. But uh, this effect was uh, quite dependent of the ring size and the position of the fluorinated substituent. The most interesting presentation of this of the obtained results uh, is uh, uh, a PPK plot where uh, each compound uh, is represented by a dot uh, corresponding to the uh, corresponding physical chemical parameters values. And uh, this plot is, can be used as a guide for uh, introduction uh, fluorinated substituents for this compound series. You can see that we can achieve quite uh, significant uh, variation of pKa, almost uh, five units, and uh, as well as uh, lipophilicity, more than one and point one point five units. And uh, there are many data points which have similar uh, chemical structure, but are quite different in terms of physical chemical parameters. And uh, vice versa, there are compounds that are structurally quite different. For example, these data points, but uh, have close values of uh, physical chemical parameter of the corresponding physical chemical parameters. These uh, uh, data can be used again for rational uh, modification, for rational improvement of physical chemical parameters or binding a compound or compounds affinity to its biological target. Uh, one more series, uh, compound series that we have studied uh, is uh, represented by cyclobutane derivatives. Again, we have prepared all theoretically, theoretically possible uh, cyclobutane uh, the, the derived amines and carboxylic acids that contain uh, CH2F, CHF2 and CF3 groups. Uh, their synthesis uh, included uh, nucleophilic fluorination of the corresponding fun functionalized cyclobutanes, uh, either with, via nucleophilic substitution with fluoride anion or uh, using deoxyfluorinating agents. So, uh, the, while the chemistry was quite standard, there, was, there were some tricks for uh, particular compounds which are described in the corresponding papers. And again, we have measured physical chemical parameters for all these uh, series. We have found uh, that for the lipophilicity, uh, for the acid base property, sorry, uh, the effects uh, are quite uh, again correlate with uh, indu inductive effect of fluorine atoms. Also, uh, cis isomeric derivatives uh, for 1 3 3 substituted isomers were slightly more acidic, acidic, therefore, perhaps some field effects are also in charge. But for the lipophilicity, we have found that introduction uh, of the fluorinated substituent uh, having one or two fluorine atom, in fact, decreases compound log p values, as the makes compound more uh, slightly more uh, hydrophilic. This is, in fact, contrary to, to the results we, that we have obtained for the saturated amine series, series. and this also shows that uh, simple additive models without uh, taking account uh, into account uh, the nature of functional groups present in the molecules that do not work here. So uh, perhaps uh, some mo more complex uh, models like, uh, for example, dipole moments of uh, the corresponding functional groups uh, should be used to predict the profilicity of such compounds. Uh, <clears throat> again, uh, in the, at the, in the, uh, in the uh, PPKA plot, uh, we have uh, found some uh, quite large uh, area covered by both carboxylic acids and amines. And these results can be used as a guide for uh, uh, rational optimization during uh, uh, drug discovery. And uh, our ultimate goal is to uh, obtain such data for uh, each uh, type of fluorinated uh, building blocks that are uh, accessible to us. Uh, in particular, this includes uh, fluorinated saturated heterocycles. These results are uh, about to be published and uh, other cyclical derived fluorinated uh, compounds. Uh, 
which is uh, studying of which is currently in progress. Uh, here I show you some uh, example of other fluorinated building blocks that were prepared uh, uh, by us uh, in the recent in, in the last year. So uh, these include some uh, bifunctional fluorinated uh, cyclobutane derivative, for example, uh, analogs of gamma amino butyric acid, gamma hydroxy butyric acid, and also the corresponding keto acid, which is a bulk uh, which without this fluorinated uh, substituent is, is a bulk reagent. But now we have its analogs. We introduce uh, the fluorospiropentyl substituent as a quite interesting uh, substituent, uh, novel substituent for medicinal chemistry. In this work, we provide uh, its uh, full char characterization by uh, physical chemical methods, uh, by uh, structural methods, uh, and as well as uh, describe efficient method for the preparation of the corresponding building blocks, which are, of course, now available from Inamin store. And uh, another work is related to a uh, somewhat different design concept. In this case, we combine uh, fluorinated uh, heteroaromatic rings with uh, sp3 enriched uh, saturated functionalized uh, rings and uh, so that uh, these quite interesting building blocks of this type are obtained. Again, synthetic uh, characteriz synthesis and physical chemical characterization was performed for all the series. And uh, as you can see, these two works were highlighted by colors at Euro European Journal of Organic Chemistry. <clears throat> Other area which we which are quite interested in is related to three plus two cyclic additions, and uh, the, the last in, in the last year we have quite uh, interesting results that I would like to show you too. Uh, first of all, I would like to highlight our work in Chemistry European Journal on uh, three plus two cyclic addition of alkenyl bor alkenyl boronates uh, with uh, azomethane elites, which provide related pyrrolidine derivatives. We have shown that this method is quite efficient and can be uh, used on a uh, multigram scale. Uh, the uh, compounds uh, that are obtained are, uh, can contain various substitution patterns and uh, can be also spirocyclic or, for example, contain fused ring systems. Therefore, this method can be considered as a very efficient uh, approach to related uh, pyrrolidin derivatives. We have also demonstrated uh, some standard chemical transformation for the products obtained, for example, uh, manipulations with protecting groups for transformation in the corresponding uh, trifluoroborates, as well as uh, CO and CC bond formation. Uh, in the latter case, we used uh, Swefel agarwal coupling because uh, standard palladium catalyst coupling do not work very well with such hindered boronates. Nevertheless, as you can see, the coupling is quite possible. Uh, the cover picture of which was is the cover feature which which was uh, published together with this article highlights the uh, Stanislav Canyon uh, region in Kherson, in uh, in Kherson region, and it was uh, it is under occupation uh, of uh, Russia Federation since the start of its full scale aggression. And unfortunately, this uh, cover became uh, quite uh, important again these days because, as you might know, uh, after destruction of the uh, Novokakhovka Dam, uh, significant parts of Kherson region are also uh, are, uh, uh, affected by flooding. And uh, it's quite, it's quite uh, 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 a disaster in that region, unfortunately. Uh, some other works that we uh, have uh, published in 2022 and 23 are related to the 3 plus 2 cyclic additions with uh, chloroxymes uh, that are known to generate nitrile nitrile oxides uh, in basic conditions. And we have shown that can, they can be used efficiently to, for the preparation of uh, isoxazoline containing building blocks uh, enriched with sp3. Uh, 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 containing uh, saturated rings. And we also used uh, these uh, quite nice products for uh, the reductive recyclization. So they provide uh, these polyfunctional uh, lactams. Uh, and as you can see, this, this work was published uh, just before the full scale aggression started. So 
quite other, quite uh, neutral, quite pleasant uh, topics are highlighted on the cover of uh, the corresponding journal number, uh, journal issue. Sorry. Uh, at Inamin, we quite, are quite big fans of cyclobutan building blocks, and we have uh, published several papers in this area as well. One of them is a huge study uh, on one to definitionalize cyclobutane building blocks that uh, were prepared using a convergent synthetic strategy. So only starting only from uh, four uh, uh, starting materials, more than uh, several several uh, the dozens of the corresponding building blocks and the intermediates were prepared, uh, which is shown schematically by this uh, scheme and. Uh, some of these compounds were prepared even as pure in enantiomers via enzymatic resolution, and other, other ones were prepared as pure diastereomers. They were structurally characterized. So, uh, indeed, they, are quite a, they can be quite a useful uh, tool for uh, synthesis uh, for uh, both organic synthesis and medicinal chemistry projects. Uh, other work is uh, more science oriented. It is related to, uh, <clears throat> to, the, to the preparation of spiroheptane uh, derived glutamate, glutamic acid derivatives. Uh, this compound, the, this project, uh, in fact, started more than 10 years ago uh, with preparation of first compounds of this series and this publication. Uh, in organic biomolecular chemistry uh, describes the final efforts toward this uh, in this area we have prepared all 18 possible stereoisomers uh, of uh, spiroheptane uh, derived uh, glutamates and uh, in this case uh, we have showcased that uh, elman elman sulfenamide uh, synthetic methodology is very efficient for the for obtain for the introduction of uh, amino acid fragment and uh, for the separation of the corresponding endotomeric derivatives um, and we have also uh, tested these compounds for the affinity towards glutamate retzimase. Uh, they have quite more had quite modest activity, unfortunately, but uh, nevertheless, these uh, building blocks and these uh, amino acids analogs, uh, amino acids can be used uh, in other can be surely used in other drug discovery projects. Uh, of course, some efforts were related to other type of enamines products, uh, namely compound libraries and uh, real space. I'm sure uh, most of you are uh, aware about. Uh, so uh, uh, there were two quite interesting collaborative works in this area. One was with Professor Mark Levin from University of Chicago, who recently described compound one, this aromatic amide, which is quite interesting uh, reagent for uh, deleting uh, nitrogen atom from secondary amines so that formal uh, uh, CC coupling occurs. And we have implemented this methodology to, uh, to the conditions of parallel synthesis uh, or semi parallel synthesis, I would say, for coupling of uh, heteroaromatic or aromatic aldehydes with benzylic type amines to obtain uh, the corresponding uh, DRL atoms uh, through a formal CSP3, CSP3 coupling. This is quite interesting chemistry, quite, quite interesting uh, transformation. And we've shown that uh, in principle, using enamine collections of building block, collection of building blocks, we can generate, can generate chemical space of more than half million compounds, with, which, is, which are quite unique and uh, strongly underrepresented in all the available chemical collections. Uh, again, this was highlighted by this quite nice uh, cover of uh, at the uh, Chemistry European Journal. In fact, uh, this is a famous Ukrainian song uh, about Chervona Kalina, about Red Verbindum, is uh, hidden here among these notes shown in this cover, at this cover. And one more, important, one more important uh, result of this collaboration, which was uh, which has impressed our colleague Mark uh, from the University of Chicago so much, is that we uh, could obtain this Levin reagent uh, in large quantities, up to sixty gram in one uh, around, and it is this compound is now available uh, from Inamin stock, and. Uh, 
Uh, it is quite interesting uh, reagent for the near, uh, for the nitrogen atom deletion and some other transformation. Another example of uh, on uh, <clears throat> combinatorial type chemistry is related to uh, application of artificial intelligence for uh, exploring exploration of the uh, real space and uh, and uh, our uh, combinatorial uh, uh, libraries. So uh, in collaboration with SoftSurf, we uh, have uh, used our results on uh, combinatorial synthesis uh, for more than, for, for 10 uh, reactions that are used to generate real space and trying to train uh, several models, several machine learning models. Uh, using these uh, results, uh, we have used both positive and negative results uh, from the experiments. And it was shown that uh, the, general, the generalized model obtained by this uh, training can give quite good uh, prediction results, more over, the, over 17% for some of the reaction, uh, despite quite different reaction types were used to build it. Uh, one more interesting results from this, the result from the study is that uh, even uh, the results coming from uh, experiments uh, con and containing both positive and negative results uh, can be uh, problematic to train uh, such models because uh, the chemical experiment is uh, much more complex than simply chemical reaction and many factors should be uh, taken into account, for example, uh, results of chromatographic preparation, some poss possible human errors and so on. So. And uh, in this area, it is much to do uh, and much to improve these predictive models. And uh, before finishing, I would like to highlight several other works uh, that uh, were that came from our department in uh, the last year. So uh, this uh, publication in the Journal of Organic Chemistry, which uh, came in the first part of 2022, in my opinion, it is quite uh, underrated work uh, and it received much less attention than it, than it should. It is related to prepare, preparation uh, chiral sulfonamides. Uh, it is well known that uh, when uh, sulfon sulfonyl chlorides I used to obtain sulfonamides that have uh, chiral center at the alpha position. Epimerization or assimilation can occur. Uh, and we have shown in this work that uh, by reversing the polarity of the reagents, by using sulfonates and uh, the corresponding hydroxylamine uh, derivatives and alkyl, alkyl hydroxylamine der derivatives, we can obtain uh, the target sulfonamides without any effect on the chiral center. The method is quite green, the reaction occurs in water, in fact. And we have shown that uh, it works, uh, it, is, it is easily scalable, scalable uh, so it can be used both for the preparation of building blocks and uh, in, the, in parallel chemistry. Unfortunately, uh, the, this chemistry doesn't work for and then the dialkyl substituted hydroxylamine so, so far. Uh, simple redox reaction occurs in this case. But uh, uh, I think that th this um, uh, change in reagents can be quite interesting design concept in, in the, the corresponding reagents. I mean, sulfinates with chiral centers, especially with chiral center at the alpha position and the hydroxylamines should receive more attention. Uh, and another work is, which is uh, uh, related to completely different area is related to natural product synthesis and it uh, demonstrates our capabilities in the, that area. So uh, we required uh, the several uh, dozens of grams of this compound Lycohalcon S, uh, C, sorry. Uh, and uh, this compound is uh, found in the licorice. Uh, Licorice, sorry, uh, uh, and uh, its natural content is quite low. So uh, non-synthetic approach is uh, uh, allowed to obtain about milligram quantities of this product. And we have developed a quite efficient uh, synthetic scheme, which was based on the methylation of the corresponding residues of the null derivative and then selective uh, directed, uh, metal, direction, directed reaction with electrophiles. And the key step was, of course, the protect, uh, selective deprotection of one of these uh, 
uh, of these protecting groups so that uh, uh, exactly as it, as it should occur exactly at this position. And therefore, uh, the target product could be obtained in up to 30 gram quantities. And we have obtained some uh, other natural products using this methodology. Before finishing, I would like to thank you for your attention and draw your attention to the uh, in a means uh, special issue published in the European uh, Journal of Chemistry, Organic Chemistry, uh, more than a year ago. Uh, it was published in, at the end of uh, 2021, uh, and it highlights uh, the versatility and diversity of chemistry, which is done here at Inamin. So uh, if you would like to uh, have some uh, uh, more detailed feeling of what we are doing here, you can uh, be inspired by this special issue. And thank you again for your attention, and I'm ready to answer the questions. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Alexander. Uh, really great presentation. Uh, uh, so uh, we have so far one question. Uh, if the slides are going to be available, yes. Uh, we will provide uh, the um, presentation to, uh, to, to the subscribers. Uh, and colleagues, please uh, feel free to ask questions right now. Now is the time if you have uh from my uh from my um side i have a question uh, what is the uh, maybe you can share some plans for the yinamine in terms of i don't know uh publishing or research in 2023 second part maybe some insights about where the company is going if it's not a top secret of course, of course. Uh, so uh, we have several publications uh, coming about these uh, fluorinate, uh, fluorinated derivatives. So uh, we are indeed uh, um, quite interested in covering all this chemical space and characterization uh, and providing its sort and characterization. There are some uh, publications uh, uh, which uh, are which uh, are related to uh, implementation of uh, new synthetic methods and new reagents, like we did with Mark Levin's uh, nitrogen Latin reagent. Uh, and I think that there will be some quite interesting results in this area. Uh, of course, we uh, continue our work on uh, organoboron uh, derivatives. Uh, there will be some uh, products, some, some uh, papers about this, quite interesting products. And um, I believe that we are preparing several reviews uh, on uh, sulfonamide synthesis. Uh, this uh, should be also quite interesting to, that should be also quite interesting to the readers. In fact, uh, there are quite many initiatives in uh, uh, by several journals uh, to, um, uh, to publish uh, Ukraine related and Ukraine themed uh issues this is done now by chemistry select by the chemical records by the chemistry of the recyclic compounds so we'll be uh, also submitting and publishing there as well uh, and uh, i believe that we uh, are going to publish uh, some book chapters again with a review on various uh, aspect of chemistry done at inamin Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, we have a new question. Uh, what do you mean be able to handle the scale of some of the sort of building blocks in case uh, the compound progresses in its journey? Uh, okay. Yeah, surely. Uh, and uh, typically uh, all the, the building blocks that are highlighted in, uh, this, in these publications uh, in most of these publications are prepared on at least gram scale or a dozen gram scale. Uh, but uh, of course, we, are, we have examples of uh, further optimization of the synthesis. And we have even several uh, works published in uh, organic process research and development regarding this issue. Uh, so uh, it's, it's quite possible here at Enemenia. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Uh, any other questions? Uh, please uh, write write down them. And uh, 
yeah if we don't have any other questions well then i'd like to thank you very much alexander for delivering this insightful talk uh, and uh, I'd like to thank everyone for joining today's webinar. Uh, and of course, stay tuned for the next one uh, and uh, subscribe to, to our newsletter to get uh, insights like this directly into your inbox. Thank you very much and goodbye. Thank you.